This is Baseball for All. Baseball for All! The only girls' baseball camp in the country. It's really important that girls know that they can do anything and that their dreams are important. Yay! Justine Siegel started the camp over 10 years ago. She has played the game her whole life, even after coaches discouraged her. If you tell a girl she can't play baseball, what else will she believe she can't do? It empowers me because I know that I can overcome any obstacle. I got teased a lot in school because I didn't do like the mainstream sports. That just made me want to play more and just be away from all the negativity. Good job. It's a magical feeling to know that we all believe in ourselves and the people around us believe in us as well. Please welcome Justine Siegel. Justine. You don't like to take no for an answer, and that's one of the things you teach the girls, right? Absolutely not. You know, girls can do anything boys can do, and, you know, <laughs> girls play baseball, and they love baseball. I love baseball, so I understand that. Yeah, it's sure. all about empowerment and girl power. So what is one of the biggest hurdles you deal with when you, when you meet these young girls? Is it, is it maybe their self-esteem? Is it that they've been told no? Is it that they want to do? Like, what, is, what are some of the things the girls talk to you about? Well, the girls are often told they should go play softball, but mm -hmm. they love baseball. So really, when they come see us, it's like magic. Right. It's like I'm surrounded by other girls who love baseball, and it's just, it's just like amazing. I can't believe it's the only all-girls baseball camp in the country. It is. It's a camp, and then we wow. run all-star teams, and uh, we're all across the country getting girls playing baseball. Now, you took them to compete in an all, well, pretty much all-guys tournament. How'd they do? Oh, well, there's 104 boys teams, and we're the only girls team. And in 2010, because uh, we've been doing this for about 12 years now, mm -hmm. we finished 38th out of 104 teams. That is unbelievable. And to make it even more amazing is that we never held a practice. You never practiced? Because the girls are from all over the country, so right. we bring them together. They play on boys teams, and then we bring them together so they can have the magic of playing with girls and, and you know, get that mentorship that right. gets them to the next level. And, and, uh, and then we play. We play with love and passion and heart. Wow. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. What is your dream for Baseball for All? My dream is to make it so that any girl who wants to play baseball come play, whether, you know, whether they can afford it or not. That's what we want. We want to get ask, access to all girls who, who love the game. And we know girls love the game, right? I love the game. <laughs> season. Woo. Go Yankees. <laughs> it's funny because we come in here and I'm coming in with my Yankees hat on and my Boston guys around here. We just for no reason. We just wear anyway. Not even going to start that. You know who you are. <laughs> so I want to help get you closer to that goal. First, we have some supplies for you. Come on out. So we have some great supplies for you, but that's not all. We are donating $3,000 to Baseball for All, so you can keep inspiring these young girls. Thank you. Thank you so much. You want to check it out? Thank you so Thank much you. for doing what you do. Keep up the good work.